enough for everybody, don't we? Off to the river. Happy Fourth of July. We have enough. You ready to go for a ride? cobbler in the oven like this is a true southern fourth of july and i'm here for it all right we just finished up our wonderful all-american fourth of july dinner and now we are having a cornhole tournament so they built as they throw beanbags at me i see you we built or they built cornhole boards and we have a draw and everything a bracket and we're about to have a full-on tournament there's uncle dave <laughs> a grandma that can cook and does amazing things for when you come home to visit dinners lunches it's all the all the rage when grandma cooks but John Luke's grandma and gran I'm telling y'all his family is large and every time we come home we're all together and so she makes all the things and it's always amazing I gain 10 pounds every time we come home and I told her last time we were home I said gran I want you to teach me how to cook so that I can cook like you so that you know John Luke has that sentimental his wife cooking for him like his grandma did so she's about to teach me how to cook and this is going to be our little episode of cooking with gran all right gran tell the world what we're cooking today we will be cooking homemade chicken pie and four layer delight which, which is a fabulous dessert and it's two of our family's favorites John Luke loves the chicken pie and her chicken and dumplings, so we settled on the chicken pie for today, and I'm gonna learn how to how to be grand, basically. You can do it, you can do it. <laughs> All right, so first you have to boil your chicken, 
So yeah. Gran washed it and prepared it. And now we're gonna put it in the pot and with, boil it. With two bay leaves. Two here, bay leaves. Here are the bay leaves right here. So, so putting them in the pot. And then we'll put our chicken in. Then we're gonna get the chicken going. Cause this has to boil for how long? Probably about an hour and a half until it tenders. Okay, here we go. I have to correct myself. You're putting the chicken in a pressure cooker, not just a pot. Cause you know, to me, who's not familiar with kitchen, it looked like a pot. Right, Graham? It's right. a pressure cooker. It's a pressure cooker. Right there. It'll uh, quicken the cooking time. There you go. Learn from Graham, not from me. All right, what are we looking for on this pot? Well, when in a, just a little bit, you will see some bubbles come around it. And then it will start to, we call it jigging. It'll start jigging. It's jigging, people. You gotta wait till it's jigging. <laughs> and then we, uh, in about 30 minutes, it'll be ready. It'll be tender. And it, we have to carefully remove the top and, uh, and let it cool a little bit and then carefully remove the top and strain the broth into this. And that's where we will make our dumplings in this pot right here. Perfect. So while your chicken is in your pressure cooker, not a pot, it's a pressure cooker. While your chicken's in your pressure cooker, let that do its job. And now we're gonna work on dessert. We're just preparing this 11 by 13 baking dish and this will be a dessert, four layer delight that our family really enjoys. John Luke in particular. Yes. Sir. We got our first layer of the four layer delight in the oven and now we just got the chicken out of the pressure well it's in the pressure cooker but we took the pressure cooker off the stove and now what are we doing Graham? We have the chicken is tender and it's ready to transfer to some, something where it can be cooling and then we're going to debone it and chop it and then we'll put it in our baking dish that we have prepared with Pam that we have sprayed with Pam. So here we go, and right now it smells wonderful. So here's the chicken. Okay. Gonna get to debone it. Okay. All right, Julie, what are you working on? Second layer of the four layer delight, which is a cup of confectioner sugar, um, eight ounces of cream cheese, and then half of this guy. Here we go. This is the best part. Yes, it is. <laughs> okay, Taylor and I are going to make the dumplings. And so what we did, we're using flour, we're using self rising flour and Crisco and ice cold water. And we have to mix it up. I mix mine by hand and we will uh, knead it a lot. We, we need a stiff dough. So that's gonna be our next step. Okay. All right, so we're about to roll the dough. About to roll the dough. We're gonna half this that we have prepared and we're gonna <laughs> put half of it on our floured sheet and we're gonna roll it. Not, we don't wanna roll this layer too thin. With this one, we wanna leave it a little thick. 
but we're getting there. We're gonna half this. Okay, and we're gonna roll down. To the dumpling? To the dumpling. And we're going to add a can of Prima chicken soup. We're just about finished with it. Almost done, but this is the first time that I think Gran has given me a specific measurement with one stick of butter or one can because the salt and pepper the whole time has just been, just do it till it looks good. Well, I'm like, I know what looks good because you're good, probably different than my good because I can't cook. That's okay. You taste I'm as you go. <laughs> you taste as you go. You just taste as you go. Smells good. So the last layer is three cups of milk and then two packages of pudding. So vanilla pudding. Now we just mix it up and then put it on top of the cream cheese layer. Okay, Julie, what'd you do next? Okay, after the third layer, then you just top it with Cool Whip and then pecans that were roasted. And by roasted, meaning just in the microwave with butter. <laughs> <laughs> and then we put it in the fridge? Yep, and then you put it in the fridge and it's ready to go. There you go. Yum. Forgot to tell you all the steps. So we boiled three eggs and then you peel them and rinse them like and then you grade them into showing. your pie pan so you just get your grater and just grate them down that's goes on the bottom layer after what do we put on the pan we put like pan, pan. Spray. spray the the pie dish with pan and then do your eggs and then the chicken that we shredded and pulled we put that over the eggs right there and now we're about to pour in the dumplings we're gonna pour the dumplings from our pan where we've cooked them over into our baking dish. And later on, when we get ready to eat it, we'll make a crust and put on top of it. We'll be back later for that. Later. All right, we got everything prepped this morning and then we went to the river. Now we're back, we're finishing dinner. Gran, what's next? We're gonna make the crust for the um, chicken pie. And we have the oven preheating to 400 degrees and it'll probably take 45 minutes to an hour to bake. So we have, we have the dumplings, the boiled eggs, and the chopped chicken in our casserole dish. And we're get, getting ready to do our crust. Here we go. <laughs> All right, consensus in the kitchen was we did good, right? Green, was it good? Very, very good. Did it do you proud? You did me proud. I did her You're proud. So proud of you. That was all I had to do was do her proud. It was great. You did it wonderful. <laughs>